So today what we're going to go over is um, closed grip bench. So I'm going to do it on the Smith machine today. Um, a lot of common mistakes and common kind of misinformation kind of thing uh, that's been out there. So at the end of the day, it is a chest press. So it is a primary uh, chest movement. The only difference is uh, your, your elbows are really tight to your body. So your triceps are going to become a lot more engaged than um, the regular kind of chest press. So when you're getting into something like this, so I'm going to do it flat today. You, don't, you can do it incline, you can do it flat, whatever you so choose. But instead of doing a normal chest press where I would be pressing out here, now I'm coming in way in nice and close. And the bar is going to hit me a lot lower in the in the chest that where I work regularly. So as you can tell, I'm letting my elbows travel inward towards my torso instead of if I was at a chest press, they'd be traveling away from my chest, making my chest do all the work. So that's the big, big change. And then bringing it all the way down, getting a full stretch and you're just pressing up. So a lot of the stretch you're gonna feel here, or for me myself, is in my tricep. It's still, like I said, it's still as a chest movement, so you're still doing that, pushing yourself through the bench, but you're just incorporating a lot more tricep than you normally would on a regular chest press. So common mistakes that a lot of people do is when they do this, is they're bringing it down they kind of curl their, their stuff in here. And this is a lot of, you'll see, like you can literally see my front delts are now involved. And I had to pull my elbows away from my torso instead of keeping them in nice and tight. So you still got to keep those shoulders locked back, chest up. Get to go heavy for this? You don't have to go heavy, and that's another misconception. So go off of what your strength is. So a lot of people will just want to rack the weight up, um, which is great if you have good technique and you're strong enough to do that. But you got to remember your triceps are doing a lot of the movement more so than you would a regular bench. So some people might not be as strong as they normally would be, or they may be stronger. Um, so it all depends on the person and uh, where their strong points are. Is it chest? Is it triceps? Because this is a really good blend of the two. So everything's nice and tight and it's lower on your chest. So you, you kind of get a little bit more torque out of this. Um, but just go on feel. Like I wouldn't go crazy with the weight because where it is right now, it, all it takes is one little like round of the shoulder and a lot of that pressure immediately goes to uh, front delt and then you could tear a rotator have have some sort of injury um, or tear your tricep so there's a lot of negative things with a closed grip bench but there is a lot of positive as well it's a great movement for triceps it's a great movement for chest um, but I always press this don't go too heavy Go for feel, go for what you're feeling and stuff like that. Because it just takes that one small like movement of shoulders first and rounding your back to kind of get that that one good momentum push and everything's gonna snap. So take all that and do a quarteration next time you do your closing your bench and give it a whirl.